everybody. I, I probably have said this a hundred times that I would never interview anybody with a cell phone case because there are so many of them, right? But I came across one that I had to stop and talk to. So, Guy, tell us a little bit about your company and what you've okay. uh, discovered okay. here. Sure. This is, we call it Cellfly. Okay. Cellfly is a flying phone case camera. Actually, it's the thinnest flying camera ever built. Okay. It's so thin that we can make it a phone case. The drones today are getting smaller and smaller. Yep. They're getting more sophisticated and more sophisticated. But they are not yet part of the user's everyday life. Every time I have all those big drones, every time there's something excited, uh, I don't have a drone. Right. I, 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 you, you see something, you can't take it. Yep. And I actually own a couple small drones for this purpose, but you don't always carry them with you, right? Right. And, that, and, and of course, always. Right. It's, you know, you see something that you'd like to get something up in the air to take a photo of or a video of, and you never have That's it with. That's the problem yep. that yep. we're solving. Yep. A few more problems with big drones that they're quite complicated to, con to control. Right. You have to, uh, you know, it's like you have to be a pilot, you have those sticks, and people are afraid to crash it. It's like uh, something that uh, people are afraid of. Right. So what we've done here is, first of all, physically, we made it so small that it can be part of your everyday life. It's actually on your phone or in your pocket. We have all those executive cases. Nice, yes, <laughs> okay? yes. Uh, now, and it's very, very easy and intuitive to use. You don't need to fly it. It's uh, you just press a button. It takes off and it hovers autonomously on a certain point or the point you put it. Okay. And it's like a tripod. It can follow you. It has gesture control, face recognition. It hovers there. Okay. This is the flight control. You don't have to fly it. it hovers autonomously. Okay. Now let's try something uh, something cool. I'll press the face recognition. Okay, now it detects the face. Now I'm going to move. You see, it sees me and it, it follows me. So you just kind of consider it a virtual tripod that right. it just kind of sits there and does its thing. Right. Okay. It's a tripod with a virtual uh, camera mat. Okay, yeah. <laughs> but it's in your pocket. Right, right. Yeah, yeah. and I believe that this is the future of drones. Like, 10 years ago, there were no cameras on, on, on smartphones. Yep, yep. And if you, if you want to take a picture, you had to yeah. take an SLR with right, you. Same right. thing is going to happen with drones. Yeah. It's going to be somehow part of your everyday life. Right, right. So we're going there. So are these available everywhere? They're not available now. We okay. started to manufacture in a few weeks. It's going to be on market. Oh, very nice. Yeah. Very nice. Okay. And what's your suggested retail when they come on? Ninety nine dollars. That's amazing too. So it's very so, affordable. Yeah. So it's yeah. always with you. Very affordable. Anyone can buy it. and Anyone can use it. So where can we find more information uh, about your product? Our uh, website. It's okay. called selfly.camera. Okay. Not dot com. Oh, yes. Uh, yes. Dot camera. Selfly.camera. Yeah. All the information there. All right. All right. Yeah. Everybody, check it out. This is your guru of geek at uh, CES 2019.